In spite of COVID-19, God is still in charge. Welcome to the Zion's World Broadcast. Want to let you know that God is still in charge. In spite of COVID-19 causes, causing death left, right and center, God is still in charge. I just want to tell you that my brothers and sisters, yes, I know there's a lot of debt, I know there's a lot of loss, ladies and gentlemen, but I want to let you know that God Almighty is still in charge. And I, Evangelist and Banks from the Zion's World Group, girls, just want to remind somebody that in spite of what you're going through, that God is still in charge. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God Almighty. Yeah, come on. Jesus, thank you for grace and mercy. Jesus. Praise Lord. Have you ever get sad, lay awake and cry all night long? Uh-huh. Oh, You ever wake up in the night thinking about certain things that you've been through you just have to trust God you just have to pray to God sometimes you might become sad when you think about the things that happened to you but remember God is still in charge saying Mr. Baxter you're saying God is still in charge and my mother died this time of COVID-19 my father died my friend at work my boss my sister my brother how are you saying God is still in charge Mr. Baxter 
how, oh Lord, I will answer that just now. Hallelujah, praise God. So somebody is wondering, how is it you're saying God is still in charge? Or how can you say God is in charge? When my mother died, and my boss, my friends, and somebody have an accident and they die, and you're saying God is still in charge. Well, I don't claim to be theological and all that. But one thing I could say, my brothers and sisters, when Jesus, God's son, was dying on the cross, uh, I, I do believe that God was still in charge. For the Bible said the S-U-N refused to shine when Jesus was on the cross. So, Jesus was dying and his father was in charge, but did he not die? He died. And so the fact that Jesus died, Lord of mercy, he died. Jesus died and the Father was in charge still because he did not die. The Father was alive. So when we go through our crucifix when we would go through our trials when we go through our pain when we when we tr go through our trials of life god is still in charge and so as we go through this troubled time and and, and let me let me just say this my brothers and sisters there is other things coming apart from covid that we are dealing with there is other things coming apart from COVID-19. Let me tell you, storms, earthquakes, Jesus. As I say that, I just want to repeat something. Ladies and gentlemen, natural disasters going to increase. Do not forget, do not forget, do not forget, Mr. Baxter told you, in Jesus' name, natural disaster going to increase. You see, the further we get away from God, the further we keep sinning and acting like there is no God. We keep sinning and we keep doing things like there is no judgment. I want to let somebody know that God in heaven is not happy with some of our behaviors down here. And sometimes some of us live as if there is no God. But God... And let the world know who is in charge. Sometimes things run and we feel, we feel like we're in charge or somebody in power think they're in charge. But God of heaven is in charge. The Bible said in Genesis that man was living wicked. I think in Genesis chapter 6. And every imagination of his heart, of his thought was evil. And he grieved God. God was still in charge. So the fact that we lost our job or we lost this or we lost that don't mean that God is not in charge. Trust him. He's going to fix it. Whatever it may be at the right time. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters all over the world. I, I just want to let you know that many times you try to do good. Yes, my brothers and sisters, many times we try to do good and uh, the reward we get is not in our favor and we wonder where is God and we are asking ourselves, is he still in charge? But as we go through the struggles of life, Dealing with COVID-19 plus many other things. Many things that is affecting our personal lives. I still want to let you know, my friends. God is still in charge. 
And so I entitled this little message, Every Knee Shall Bow. Every Knee Shall Bow. One day, every knee shall bow. And we will know that all through these times, God was in charge, like when his son was dying on the cross. Every knee shall bow. God is not somebody to be played with. And sometimes we are living as if there is no God. But in this message, I want to say to everyone who hear this word, we need to repent and turn from our sins. I'm going to say it again. We need to repent and turn from our sins. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Now, some of us, we are living as if there is not a judgment coming. We're living as if we can do anything and it just go like that. We're living as if because the police didn't catch us. We can do anything. But for those of us who watch Cold Case File, you have seen many times that people did things many years ago. And Cold Case File, with modern technology, find it out. What am I saying? The Bible said in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Beholding the evil and the good. So even if the police don't know what we did. God knew. Even if we don't know. God knew. But a lot of us are living as if there is no God. And once man don't know, we think it's all right. But God sent me to remind somebody he know and he's still in charge. God want me to remind somebody what men don't see or heard he knows and why every knee shall bow because you see we can't fool God we may fool some of the people sometime but we cannot fool God at no time so you see indeed God is still in charge COVID-19 has caused a lot of loss. You lost a lot of boss, a lot of staff, a lot of co-worker die, families and friends. Debt is having a field day. But I said in the past, in messages before, Revelation chapter 20, reading from verse 11 to the end, one day death shall die for God is still in charge. I just want to tell everyone, let us be careful what we do. Let us care, be careful of our behavior because God is watching. Let us remember when nobody is looking that we cannot hide from God. When it's dark, Yes, my brothers and sisters, when the door is locked, when the place is dark, God see everything. 
and God know everything. When we're making plans that is negative and corrupt and deceitful, God know. And so people may not know, but God know. So when the Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, it is a sign that God is in charge. So the world continues. We continue to live in sin, continue to consume the pleasures of the world, to indulge in sin, to forget about the word of God. And live as if there is no God. But oh my brothers and sisters. God want me to remind somebody. Very shortly from now. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. Yes. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. What does that mean? He is right. And if we keep doing the wrong, we were wrong. For Romans 6, 23 is clear. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So doing the wrong and nobody see us and we feel comfortable living in the sin and doing the wrong. But God is making appeal to somebody. Stop it. Baxter, if you're doing wrong, stop it. Mrs. John, Mr. John or Mrs. Brown, if you're doing wrong, stop it. Why? Because God see and God knows. So when, even when nobody knew, God knows. You see, we can't fool God, so might as well you come confess it and stop it. And 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 said, If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all sins. The fact that you know that every knee shall bow very shortly from now, it is better to come bow now than wait till the judgment, but it's too late. It is better to confess to God now. Confess to God now. For, for one day, every knee shall bow and every wickedness that is done, God know. So since we can't fool God, why don't you join with him? Join up with him, confess our sins. And be a friend to him. For we can't fool him. We can't get around him. Huh? We can't get on, we can't get underneath him because he, he's so low when he gets ready. And he's so high, we can't get over him. He's so wide, we can't get around him. So come and join him. Every knee shall bow. All wicked leaders shall bow. All power seekers and those who all their greatest thing is to up. Power, every knee shall bow. All trickster, every knee shall bow. All haters, every knee shall bow. All who hate the word of God shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I want to encourage somebody today. Why don't we join him, Jesus? Join up with him. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him glory. For the Bible said, we know based on the Bible, the theology of the Bible, that when the praises goes up, the blessings come down. When you give God praise, it makes a difference in your life. Uh -huh. When you give God praise, it rolls your burdens away. You're praising God and you don't, you don't know where the money coming from tomorrow. But the song say, I know the Lord will make a way. Pass me not, do gentle Savior. These songs encourage us 
in our trials of life to know that the Lord will make a way. And somebody is saying, well, I prayed to God and I didn't hear nothing. I prayed to God and my sister died. Uh, I prayed to God and I lost the job. I prayed to God and, and I'm still sad. And so they're wondering if God is in charge. But I said in the beginning, when God's son was dying, the world didn't left to the devil. For God was in charge when the S-U-N refused to shine when Jesus was on the cross. God was in charge. And so he let the S-U-N refuse to shine as a sign that's very shortly from now. My S-O-N, my son, will take charge. Of Jesus, when he rose from the grave, he said in Matthew 28, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. God is still in charge. Every knee shall bow. So live for Jesus. Every knee shall bow. So let us confess our sins. Any secret sin. Don't go to nobody. Go to Jesus. Confess it to the Lord. Ask for strength. Keep away from the things that is drawing you and driving you to do the wrong thing. You have a, we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to try to walk in the path that leads home. The way of the cross leads home. Jesus is the truth and the way. But he's not going to drag you and I to follow him. He's not going to drag you and I to come with him. It's our responsibility to come to him. Every knee shall bow one day. And so as you go through the trials of your life, as you go through the struggles of life, Bring it to Jesus. Bring it to the cross. Tell it to the Lord. Confess our sins. And leave light from the cross. Put malice away. Put hate away. Put the, the bad planning that we have. As a matter of fact, if we have any plan for sin, cancel it. Stop it. Repent. For every knee shall bow. Why don't you join up with God now and praise him in these last days? I know it's not easy. But there is a great day coming. I know many of us have been disappointed. But there is a great day coming. St. John's chapter 14. Jesus said, if I go, I will come again. There is a great day coming. He said, if I go. I will come again. What does that mean? He said, if I leave, I will come back. And we know Jesus went away. He, men of Galilee, why standing, gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus will come in like manner. Have you, like you see him goes up. He is coming again. Jesus and signs of the time in nature, in the world, is showing that something Miraculous is going to happen. Signs of the time is that the coming of the Lord is near. Let us draw near, knowing every knee shall bow. I run to bow now. I bow down on my knees and cry holy. Bow down on my knees and confess my sins. Bow down on my knees and cry for mercy. Bow down on my knees and say, Lord, I have done something nobody know, but you alone know, so forgive, cleanse. And endeavor to move away from anything that will indulge us to get down in sin. For every knee shall bow. So brothers and sisters, in spite of the loss, in spite of the circumstances that is not in our favor, in spite of the unfavorable circumstances that we may find ourselves in, I, Evangelist at Baxter, want to let you know, God is still in charge. Yes, some of us cry at night. 
yes some of us are sad about some about some things but there is something great coming there is something good coming jesus christ is coming again and when he comes again he said when i come again and i take you home there'll be no more crying there'll be no more dying there'll be no more shooting there'll be no more heart attack there will be no more accident that's caused death. There will be no more war that caused death. There will be no more hatred. There will be no more black side or white side. Yes, there will be peace in the valley. God is still in charge. So every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. I don't know about you. But I rather to bow now. I rather to bow to God now and confess and praise him. For when the every knee bow in the last day, that will be too late. That's when the world will realize that Jesus was not, his story was not just a, a, a fiction story, but it's true. But it will be too late. When everybody will know the preachers who preach the dust say the Lord was right. When Noah preached the word, they mock him. When Noah preached the word, they thought he was crazy. Talking about rain going to fall when they never saw rain before. But when the rain start to fall and the floods start to come and the hurt start to burst water left, right and center. It was too late when they start to knock on the door. Don't let the door close in you. But when the door is closed, no priest can open it. No bishop, no pastor, no preacher can open the door. So I encourage you, come confess. Every knee shall bow. I want to confess now because I want to be ready when the role is called up yonder. So whatever my problem is, whatever my weaknesses is, weakness may be, let us tell it to Jesus, not to a friend. But tell it to Jesus. He will wash away your sins. He will wash away our sins. Turn our nights into day. And the darkness will vanish away. Confess to God. Before it's too late. My brothers and sisters all over the world. You come too far. To quit and to be lost. The coin was in the house. In the Bible, I think in Luke 15, St. Luke 15. The coin was in the house, but the coin was lost. We don't want to be in the church saying we are following Jesus and be lost. So let us come confess. Every knee shall bow. That means we can't fool God. We can fool people, but we can't fool God. Baxter, you can't fool God. That's why I come to a conclusion that I will bow now. I will bow my knees and pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this inspiration. Every knee shall bow and the fact that you're still in charge. I pray that you will bless this man. Bless this man and his family. Bless this woman. Bless this boy, these boys and girls. Oh Lord, I pray that you will place your special blessing upon us. May we be a shining light to help rescue the perishing and care for the dying. So when the road is called up yonder, we'll be in the number. Wash me, Baxter, from any sin and make me be usable by you and the power of your Holy Spirit that I can be a blessing to somebody in this time of death when so much people lost loved ones. When so much people are disappointed, when so much people are feeling sad, may the Spirit of God put something that is hopeful and truthful and a blessing to encourage God people to let them know God is still in charge. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for tuning into the Zion's Wall broadcast. Kindly share this message with somebody. I know they'll be blessed in Jesus' name. The message in Taiko, every knee shall bow because God 
know everything and we care for God. Whatever we do in secret, if we don't confess it, if it's wrong, Lord of mercy, God see everything. He's greater than an X-ray. When it's dark, he can see clearly. When the door is shut, he know where you are. Oh Lord, he know where we are when the door is shut. Come out of sin. Come to Jesus now.